What is going on, party people? It's your boy, Uncle Jim. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another fantastic video. Today, we're talking about something very, very interesting, and that is these little suckers right here, wireless earphones, more specifically, AirPods, and how a lot of you probably got some this past holiday season, unwrapped them under your tree or with your family and friends, and kind of have some questions about them. And so I'm making this little video a buyer's guide, so to speak, for those of you who are thinking about making the switch from wired to wireless earphones, and if you're making the right choice. In this video, I'm going to cover a multitude of things. Number one, uh, is there a similar alternative to AirPods for the cost? Are there similar headphones higher or lower in cost? And are AirPods worth the hefty price tag that they carry? I'll be going over a number of things like sound quality, battery life, Bluetooth connectivity, and just overall aesthetic of the device. Before we get started, I actually wanna kinda of go into my credentials a little bit to give you an idea of why I think I can make a video like this. Uh, I own a lot of wireless headphones. I've used a lot of wireless headphones. I only buy headphones that I think are worthy of the price tag. Uh, I'm not a very good listener, so I don't have the greatest hearing. So I never really splurge that much on the super high quality stuff just because I don't really necessarily get to appreciate it all that much. But when I test them out and demo them out, I can definitely tell the difference between a super high quality headphone and a mediocre to low end headphones. So those are my credentials. I've used a whole lot of headphones. I've done a whole lot of research and uh, yeah, you can trust me. So number one, talking a little bit about the sound quality of the AirPods. And to be honest with you, AirPods kind of have sound quality on the lower to mediocre side of the spectrum. I'd say it's just below average. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. It's nothing to write home about. But if you're looking for really rich, really deep music quality, you will be missing out when you use a pair of AirPods. The reason being is that just because they're as expensive as they are, doesn't mean they're, they're quite that premium. And a lot of people seem to get price and quality really thoroughly confused when they make their buying decisions. They just go out and they buy the most expensive thing and think that's going to yield them the best results. For example, I'm gonna be comparing my AirPods to these, the Skull Candy Indies, throughout the video. And the Skull Candy Indies, as of right now, retail for around $85. I got mine on sale down around $50. And to be honest with you, these things have just as good, if not slightly worse, only a little bit worse sound quality than the AirPods. And they're less than half of the price. So when I tell you AirPods don't have the greatest sound quality compared to other more high-end headphones, you really ought to believe me because you can get pretty good sound quality for less than $100. So to rate the AirPods sound quality out of 10, I'd probably give it a, a middle six, a, a low seven. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of where it's at. You know, if you want high quality sound, I highly recommend moving over to something like Bose or Sony or Sennheiser just to get a much better listening experience. And if you're very dedicated to sound, I'd say skip wireless AirPods or earphones completely and move over to a full-sized over-ear headphone experience. Uh, these are my candy crushers. This is what I listen to music on most of the time, just because it's a louder, more bassy, more rich sounding audio. And even these aren't all that expensive, and these will give you a better listening experience than AirPods. Not to mention like a Bose Quiet Comfort headset or a nice pair of Sennheisers. So sound quality, it's just all right. Number two is Bluetooth connectivity. And Bluetooth connectivity on the AirPods is something that I'm actually very, very impressed with. The Bluetooth connectivity is impressive to say the least. Uh, now, when I say that, I think it's only with Apple devices. I haven't had very much luck pairing these with any other Bluetooth devices that I own. But if you're an Apple user with an iPad, an iPhone, maybe a MacBook, uh, you're gonna have a really easy time pairing these in. I'm just gonna give you a little example. I'm gonna put this in my ear for the first time. There, it already connected to the Bluetooth device, my iPad right over here. So it's very, very fast. It's very, very quick. You're not gonna have any latency when you put these in your ear for the first time. They're gonna be ready to go the moment you put them in. Now to compare that to my $50 sale value uh, Skull Candies, when you put this in for the first time, all you're gonna get is the notification that they're on. All you're gonna get is power on right there. It was like a second. And now you're actually going to have to manually go in and connect these via Bluetooth. Or if you're lucky, after around six to eight, probably 10, it's probably not going to do it right now. It'll connect to a device automatically. 
So in terms of you know Bluetooth connectivity, AirPods are actually a little bit ahead of the curve than a lot of other guys. And that's not just the case for the Skull Candy Indies that I have over here. I've read that you know the the Sennheisers, the Sony's, the Bose, uh, the Jabra, the J Dog, the J the J Bird. I think is what it's called. All of these guys have similar issues with Bluetooth connectivity versus the AirPods with Apple devices connect very 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 quickly. Now I haven't used all those other ones as frequently or as long to speak to the Bluetooth connectivity like I can the sound quality, but I will say in my experience thus far, the AirPods have an impressive connectivity compared to their competitors. Now, with that said, I have to rate the AirPods Bluetooth connectivity, and because my only experience is with Apple devices, I will give the other headphones the benefit of the doubt and give the AirPods a, uh, a nine. I would have given them a 10 because they're just so incredible, so perfect, uh, but because other AirPhones might have you know, an edge on Android or, or other non-Apple devices, I wanna give these a fair shake and say it's a nine. I'll say that their Bluetooth connectivity is superior, but it's possible that it's just a uh, Apple thing specifically. Third and final thing that we're gonna talk about in this video is going to be battery life on the AirPods. And this is an area that I'm personally really, really disappointed with my $200 uh, AirPods. And uh, I don't know if it's gotten any better with the AirPod Pros. I've read that it has, I've read that it hasn't. Uh, you know, you'll see negative and positive reviews about everything and I haven't used them long enough myself to speak to that. But if you're buying the regular standard, you know, Tic Tac looking, uh, AirPods, you're gonna get some less than ideal battery life. You just are. Uh, I use mine all day, every day, and it just seems like they die halfway through my day. Like, it just seems like they're not ready to be used six to eight hours into my day. If I go out shopping or to the mall, you know, I did a lot of Christmas shopping this season, and I always have these with me. That's the reason I bought these, was to have a backup pair of wireless headphones. And uh, when I'd be walking in the mall, they would just shut off. And I'm like, I've used these for four hours. Why are they already dead? Uh, I'd play Discord with my friends, you know, video games, and I'd use these for, for those. And, uh, you know, two to three hours of Discord conversation, and one of my, one of my AirPods dies. I switch over to the other one, you know, because I got the headset on one ear and the AirPod on the other. Uh, that's the other reason I bought the Skull Candies, because the Skull Candies advertise and succeed at delivering much better battery life. Uh, I use these all day long at work, when I do errands, when I'm on Discord, and they never ever die on me. They seemingly last for like a day or two at a time, very similarly to my candy crushers. So uh, I don't know if that's a Skull Candy specific thing that they just have superior battery life, but uh, the one thing that you can take to the bank is that the, uh, the advertised battery life on any pair of headphones is gonna be significantly less than what you actually get. Uh, even with the charging case. So just to kind of wrap up and answer some of the questions that I initially posed to you in the beginning of the video, I'd say no, there isn't a direct counter to the AirPods. There's nothing really out there that gets you slightly above average for premium quality price tag. You know, uh, you can absolutely go out and get something that's average for a below average price tag. And you can absolutely go out there and get something that's supremely above average for a supremely above average price tag. Uh, AirPods are unique in the sense that they uh, feel very premium, they look very premium, they act very premium, but a lot of areas they fall flat. Um, if you are looking for something with really cool Bluetooth connectivity, if you're looking for something with the wireless charging, if you're looking for something that is actually kinda unique in that it's branded specifically for your Apple product, AirPods might be the way to go for you, specifically if you utilize the Apple Care. But if you're the kind of person like me who wears headphones every minute of every day, uh, needs them to be charged, needs them to always work, because uh, AirPods sometimes have a habit of disconnecting with the red exclamation point error, um, then maybe go with something cheaper or uh, step up a little bit in your price tag and, and get something that's super premium and uh, behaves super premium. So with all that said, I'd say, uh, Enjoy your AirPods, like them, but just know you probably could have saved yourself some money going with something a little bit cheaper. But uh, that's all for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click like down below and tell me what did I miss, what did I get wrong, what did I get right, if anything at all. And uh, tell me what wireless headphones you're going to be using uh, for 2020, the new decade. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.